Meta Defender Core is a threat prevention platform that allows you to scan files with multiple scan engines from different AV vendors, removing active objects from uh, productivity files, as well as detecting vulnerabilities in binaries. Meta Defender Core allows you to scan files with up to 20 scan engines in your own environment. For this uh, demo, I'm going to use uh, eight scan engines as well as the data sanitization engine from OpsWat to remove active content from PDF files and Microsoft Office files and so on, um, as well as a, three, uh, uh, as a few other engines uh, such as the file type for file type verification or the archive engine that allows us to extract files from archives and scan those files as well. On this page, I can manage my scan engines and see when was the last time the definition package was updated. Definition packages are updated from the vendors in real time. We take this package of scan engine, engines and we wrap a process around them, allowing you to customize that process for different use cases or different vendors or even files that are coming from different network zones. Meta Defender Core offer robust uh, filters options. So if, uh, for example, we're talking about uh, extracting files from archives, you can control that process and limit how many files can be extracted or what would be the archive depth. We provide you with both blacklist and whitelist options based on the, on the file type group or specific file types. For the scan process, we're doing file type verification for spoofed files, um, blocking any, any file that was manually changed. So if I'll take an executable and manually change that file type to PDF, we can block that file before we even try to scan it. Data sanitization is a file type conversion process. It's also known as Content Disarm and Reconstruction, or CDR, by Gardner. On this page, I can configure which file types I want to convert and what would be the output of that file type. In that conversion uh, process, we're going to remove any active object that can potentially be executed when the user opens the file without the user knowing that the script is being executed. So if we're talking about VBAs, JavaScripts, hyperlinks, anything like that can be removed from these documents. Show you a quick example. I'm going to scan an ACAR file to see what we can expect from Meta Defender Core in terms of performance and detection. To demonstrate uh, the data sanitization functionality, I'm going to use two different files. the ACAR uh, Trojan PDF. Um, this PDF has a Word document embedded in it with, a, with a, a VBA script that will attempt to extract an ICAR file to the system's temporary folder. This is a good place to also uh, see the power of multi-scanning. As we can see, while the ACAR file was detected by all of the AV vendors, once we inject that file into a PDF file and so on, we can see that not all the scan engines detected this file. Once the file was sanitized, I'll go ahead and download it. And let's try to scan it again and see what are the results. Data sanitization, remove the embedded object that will attempt to extract the ICAR file to the system, and we're getting a clean file, which is identical to the original one. So we saw what data sanitization can do for files with known threats. 
To demonstrate how we can help you prevent zero-day attacks, I'm going to use this PDF file. This PDF file has a JavaScript injected uh, in it, and what it will do is it will update today's date. And I see this warning telling me that this is what's going to happen in this file before I open it. Once I open the file, I can see that the date was updated to today's date. And please make a note of the fonts and the different images on this document. Processing this file will not trigger any of the scan engines, as this will emulate a zero-day attack, assuming none of the scan engines can uh, ident or can detect that uh, uh, threat yet. I'm downloading the sanitized file and I'll open it, and we can see I'm not getting a warning and the date was not updated meaning the JavaScript didn't run in the background. Yet we can see all the fonts and all the images on this document were kept the same way, uh, the same way, way they were before. Same file type conversion allows us to keep the file's usability. Going back to the user interface, I can go ahead and see my uh, processing history. Any file that is scanned with this server will be available under the processing history where I can see who sent that file um, and, and what was the final result. I can go ahead and open this uh, scan results page and I get more information such as the uh, file signatures that MetaDefender Core produces, scan results for each uh, scan engine, the scan time, as well as the definition package that was used at the time of the scan. All of this information can be sent to a syslog server or a Steam solution such as uh, Splunk. MetaDefender Core provides with a few different options to integrate with the product. We expose the REST API if you would like to develop your own application and include the scan process as part of this application. Um, besides that, we also offer integration options with email security solutions, um, such as secure gateways, Office 365, and Exchange on-premise. Um, we have different solutions for scanning external media and introducing files into high security networks, air gapped networks, and offline environments. One of the integrations that we're going to explore today would be the, our integration with different uh, proxy servers. Uh, specifically, today we will explore our uh, integration with the reverse proxy server F5 that allows us to scan files uploaded to applications that sit behind F5. Meta Defender ICAP server allows you to integrate MetaDefender Core with ICAP-enabled devices such as uh, next-generation firewalls and proxy servers. Today we will explore our, our integration with the F5 Big IP reverse proxy server to scan file uploads before allowing those files into your web servers. ICAP server will keep track of all the ICAP requests. You can set up policies to make sure the traffic um, that you would like to would be affected by the scan process. So this process can be affected by um, the host IP, which application the file is being uploaded to, or the client IP, where the file came from. We allow you to choose uh, the Meta Defender Core server, which can be set up under the inventory. This allows us to set up an easy high availability process where I can add as many Meta Defender Core servers as I would like.
files that were scanned uh, with the ICAP server will be available uh, under the ICAP history. Files that were blocked will be available on this page where I can see who uploaded the file, um, what was the host or destination that file was uploaded to, and I can go ahead and view the scan results to see why this file was blocked. So let's take a look at the MetaDefender ICAP integration. Generally speaking, MetaDefender ICAP can be integrated with next generation firewalls, forward proxy servers or reverse proxy servers. You can see some of the products we support here. Generally speaking, uh, we support any ICAP enabled device that has a full implementation of the ICAP protocol. The ICAP protocol simply encaps encapsulates HTTP requests or response. Today we'll take a look at our integration with the F5 Big IP server. We provide step-by-step -step documentation to allow you to integrate MetaDefender ICAP server <clears throat> with, your big, with your F5 Big IP. So you can see here the instructions to create the ICAP profiles, the ICAP uh, server node and pool, and so on. To simplify that process, we created an IAP template. The IAP template will configure all of this setup automatically, and this is what we're going to see today in the demo. The IAP simply lets you configure all of the required components in a few easy steps. So looking at my F5 virtual servers, right now I have a web server and I don't have the ICAP uh, enabled here. So there's no request adapt profile. This is my web server and I will go ahead try to upload the icar file and i can see the file was uploaded with no issues let's go ahead and run through the iapp integration the template was already uploaded to the server so i will go ahead and create my application giving it a name and I'm choosing the template that was previously uploaded, Opswot Meta Defender ICAP. At this point, all I really need to do is provide my ICAP server IP. This would be the ICAP port. I can choose to create a new ICAP server pool or I can use an existing pool. When I click on finish, the script runs and creates all of the necessary components. So we can see, for example, the request profile that includes the ICAP virtual server, ICAP pool and the nodes and so on. Let's go back to my virtual server and enable the request adapt profile. I'll try to upload the same file again. When I'm trying to upload, I'm getting the message that the file was blocked, and I can see the reason why it was blocked. If I'll go back to my ICAP server and see my ICAP history, I can see the blocked request. I can see the client who tried to upload a file, which proxy server was used, and what was the uh, destination, or which web server we tried to upload the file to. From here, I can also see the scan result, see which scan engines detected this file and what's the virus signature. We'll go back to the example of the PDF with the date update JavaScript. 
Since this file is not going to be detected by any of the antiviruses, we know we can upload this file to the server. File was uploaded and we can see that actually the sanitized file was the one that's uploaded to the server. So if I will go ahead and download this file, I'm not getting any warnings. I can see the date was not updated and yet we can still see that the fonts were kept intact. All the images in the document were, uh, all the information in the document stayed the same way it was before.